Music City. Starved to death like most starving artists do. I can smoke all the pot that I want in my old 420 local. You're listening to Lifestyle Radio. The opinions expressed during this show are those of the individual participants and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of their associated organizations or Lifestyle Radio. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Pace Radio Show once again. We are being broadcasted live at lifestyleradio.ca as well as at Spreaker. I'm your host, Al Graham. Tonight, I am joined by my joint host, Northern Ontario, Kim Cooper, and she has brought us a guest that loves to bake up a storm for the patients. But, as always, Kim and I and, uh, and uh, Alicia, we always have a little chat before and do a little bit of news. So, hi, Kim. How are you? I'm not doing too bad tonight, Al. How are you doing? I'm 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 doing better than I was a week ago, and, and well, that's always than, good. And better than a week before then too. That's always it, good to see yeah. you're on the mend. Is fantastic news. Progress is being made. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not completely over everything. I'll still be a little while still, but you know, I think the worst is behind me. Excellent, excellent. And, Always good to hear. I mean, we're all yeah. patients first. Uh, we all do this radio it's, show. Several of our guests have been patients. We've had intervenuses on the air now, and bandage yeah. changes, <laughs> and, and you know, all kinds of stuff. You know, and and you know, last minute. Sometimes people can't make it due to illness as well. And you know, that's yeah. the beauty of our show. You're getting firsthand information from those that use these products. It's, yeah, and and you know, you're hearing directly from the patients and what they're going through. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, exactly. Exactly. But, um talking about patients, um I we were just chatting off air beforehand, Kim, and I never got to really finish what we were talking about. And that's, um, I, on the way over here tonight, the show is done inside the, the storefront here at Canada Days in downtown Camelford. I'm in the front window. And on the yeah. way down, on the way over, the owner of the store, Wayne Matheson, uh, he met me at the uh, local, at the lights here, at stoplights, and informed me that um, our local cannabis advocate, um, Kelly Brown of Peterborough, um, passed away this afternoon. Um uh-huh. Kelly's been involved with Wayne for um, quite some time, years, involved with the 420, involved with uh, Cannabis Day. He helps Wayne, they help each other, and um, it was quite quite a shock. Um, Wayne hadn't seen him in a little while, and this morning they got together, they shared some medication, and a few hours later he was informed that he was gone. Like, it was just... Oh, so uh, sudden. So sudden, no warning, no nothing, and it just shows to show that um, a person can be here today and and they could be gone in, in a moment's notice, man. Oh, my heart goes out to the family and, of course, to Wayne and all who had the pleasure of meeting this man. Great voice for your area and abroad. <clears throat> um, I'm sorry, I'm choked up a bit. Um, very big loss for the community in general. Uh, he will be missed. He will be. And uh, I know uh, Wayne and his wife, Shallon, are, are with um, Kelly's wife right now. Uh, they will be stopping in, obviously, here in the store uh, before I leave. So maybe we can have, uh, if Wayne's up to it, um, come on to the program and say a few words about Kelly. Yeah, have a brief discussion in his honor uh, and to let people know that this uh, tragedy has taken place and a few minutes to remember the man. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, all right, uh, into other news. Um, off from that, I see uh, the Strait in British Columbia has published an article in regards to all the provinces in Canada and, and territories, explaining how each of the provinces are going about um, how they're going to, um, you know, gathering information on uh, legalization of cannabis. Here yeah, there. it's quite in depth, isn't it? It's got yeah. every province named off individually. So if you're only interested in in your particular province, quite easy to go and uh, find the scoop on what's happening around yeah. you. Yeah, I completely agree, and that's at the uh, straight dot com website. And yeah, it breaks it yeah. right breaks it right down all the way through there. I'm just trying to see if there's anything offhand that's you know everybody's what, talking you, about you, the on, on, online questionnaires, eh? Um, yeah. Have you read any of these yet? I've glanced over some of them. Um, some of the, uh, uh, some of them are are a bit much. Um, uh, several provinces are re- are looking at putting uh, restrictions on THC counts. Oh wow! Really? Yeah. Oh, that's not good. I see here in the Northwest Territories, CBC's reported the survey was the territory's most popular public engagement ever. Yeah. What's that tell you? <laughs> yeah. What's that, what's that tell you? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, so, I mean, I think any province that's looking to really be rigid and stringent and mm-hmm. have, you know, over the top uh, sort of regulations for this are going to have a rough way to go with their constituents, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there will be. I see here, uh, Nunavut, they say Nunavut's got the highest number of cannabis users in Canada. Yeah, Nunavut. I mean, come on. <laughs> Nunavut. What else is there to do in Nunavut? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I, I don't know. I actually have a friend who, who's lived up there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I know nobody yeah. from there. My apologies if I've offended anybody from the area. It was just a sort of, to me, Nunavut spells desolation and mm. really nothing to do. If I'm wrong, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Northern Ontario can do that to some people. <laughs> well, yeah, Northern Ontario. I mean, that's that's pretty much where I am now. It's not quite desolate, but I, there's nothing to do. And I live yeah. here. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, yeah, so go to thestraight.com, uh, check out that news article, find out your province, and see what uh, what they're up to. Yeah, and if there is an ongoing petition or survey or questionnaire of any kind in your province, please, please, please take the time to do it. Participate. Have your voice. Let them know what you want. If we don't, then we're going to get stuck with something we're not happy with. That's right. Exactly. Speak up. And usually it only takes five minutes. Click a couple, you know, yes or no answers. And some of the questions are, you know, slanted certain ways. But, uh, you know, just comments, yeah. you can fill in comments. So. That's right. That's right. There's always a space for comments. I encourage everybody to use it to make very clear what your point was, uh, especially on those questions that yeah. are so leading. And I would suggest that uh, if you get a chance, comment up a storm and write as much in there as possible. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Talking about storms. <laughs> I threw that in there. <laughs> uh, our, 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 our guest tonight, uh, you've invited on the program. Uh, she's a person who loves to bake up a storm, right? Uh, yeah. So, I uh, oh I gotta do this I'm gonna do this again no no <laughs> no 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 uh, you're fine I okay I'm gonna go with your your version okay okay all right <laughs> okay as I said this person likes to bake up a storm I like to welcome Ashley Kalia 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 yeah. how would I do all right okay. <laughs> You did good. Okay. good. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up names really bad, believe me. <laughs> so I apologize beforehand. Uh, and, and we didn't get time to... Good ones for you, haven't we, Al? Yeah, we sure have. <laughs> we sure have. Okay, and Ashley, you're with the uh, Sofa King Good Bakery um, in Toronto, right? That is correct. All right, well, welcome to the Pace Radio Show. We have 
talked before uh, during uh, the 420 road shows and we've usually come across you uh, at the events which we'll talk about as the as the day as the night goes on but it's good to have you on the program well thank you very much for having me <laughs> hey that's uh excellent oh, anytime excellent, excellent. okay uh, to get going here uh, actually i hand the mic over to kim so get things going and then uh, i'll jump in as a uh, as the night progresses. Okay, sounds, sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks so much for the intro, Al. Welcome to the show, Ashley. You, um, I, I try and, <clears throat> excuse me, I try and do a, a bit of a research on people before the show. Um, and a large portion of our guests have a pretty predominant online uh, presence. You do not. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> there is that is very, correct. There is very little, very little information out there about you. So I'm afraid I don't have a hell of a lot of history on you. Um, I am aware of who you are, of course, and within our community and your company, Soap King Good Bakery, which I am a huge fan of. I uh, love the product, so I had to, had to have you on the show. But we're going to have to get to know a little bit more about Ashley. I know you're in <laughs> Toronto. Uh, you run this business uh, with your loving heart and uh, put everything that you have into the business. Before we get started, why don't you tell us a little bit more about you? Um, okay, well, I was uh, born and raised in Toronto. I've uh, been here all my life and don't see me moving anytime soon. Um, so that being said, of, of course, with the entrepreneurial spirit, I, I had to open a business in the city. Um, the bakery is not my first business. Um, I did actually have a jewelry company that I ran for many years prior to this. Um, and then once I became a medical patient, I, I saw the need and, and kind of steered that way. Um, but that being said, um, I'm not really sure what kind of information you're looking for. Any, any particular no. questions you have for me? <laughs> No, that's great. That's great. That overview was perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. So to get down to it, you are a patient. And that's what uh, inspired you to build this business that you currently have with Sofa King. Um, now, being a patient, I'll let our vis listeners know this has happened to us before several times on the show. Ashley is a patient. She's also struggling this evening with some, some health issues. So, uh, you know, we appreciate you being here and enduring uh, through your health issues to be on the show. Oh, well, thank you very much. And I'm, I'm going to try my best to power through this. <laughs> Oh, I thank you so much, and all our listeners are, are very grateful for, for you taking the time to give us the good word. Now, um, the last five, or no, the last four shows I've done for Pace, oddly enough, I was just doing some looking at my records, and oddly enough, you're all involved in the Karma Cup. <laughs> it's funny how so, that works, it's a small little it. industry yeah. like that. <laughs> Yeah, and my last four shows, everybody has, has had something to discuss about the Karma Cup. You're all supporters or entrants or uh, donors and sponsors of the Karma Cup. So it's kind of ironic. And, and we're all going to be there in a couple of weeks, just a couple of weeks' time. So you'll be there with Sofa King products, will you? Uh, yes, we definitely will. Uh, we have also entered uh, one of our goodies into the competition to see how we fare. Uh, we are gold sponsors for the Karma Cup, and we have a booth there this year, so we're we're going out full force. <laughs> Excellent. And what products, can I ask, did you enter this year? Um, actually, something that, that you kind of favor, in fact. Something savory. Uh -oh. Any guesses? Oh, is it the pretzels? Right. Oh, I hope it's the pretzels. <laughs> are, we, uh, are we allowed to know what you entered? I, I, I don't know if you're allowed to know. All I, I can know. tell I you is, 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 is <laughs> well, it something fun out. and savory. Well, the kids yeah, are coming yeah. out in two more days. So I don't think yes, we're going to let are. anything out of the bag, uh, so to speak, with that. So I hope the, the pretzels, I, I mean, they were my fave. They are absolutely fantastic. I have a sweet tooth, but I'm one of the people that I'm tired of consuming all of my cannabis edibles in sweets. I mean, I've got sweets coming out of my ears. Uh, it's just <laughs> too much sweets all the time. So the savory is awesome. Uh, the pretzels were just so buttery and salty and fantastic 
Well, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, uh, so where do you come up with uh, the ideas from recipes? Is it trial and error? Do you get input? Um, some of it is trial and error. Uh, some of it is, is customer or patient input, depending on what it is they're looking for. Um, some of it is, is tried and true recipes that I've used in the past and have just converted over to a now infused product because um, I've been a baker for well as long as I can remember. Um, my father was also a baker by trade, so I kind of took it from him and, and ran with it that way. Um, excellent, excellent. So, yeah. Carrying on the family business with a new little sort of kick to the side. Well, exactly, exactly. That's wrong with a baker. I've got a baker in my family. Yeah, I love bakers. Yeah, yeah. I guys oh. love this. He he would he come home from being away at college and he'd have everything that was he had made that they you know they froze and kept and then brought it home. Oh, I'll tell you, it was just it was just awesome. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Fresh baked, <clears throat> excuse me, fresh baked goods, nothing better. No, nah, no, nah, that's right, that's right. So yeah, nothing having a baker better. in the family is always good. Yeah, I, I've had the opportunity to try the pretzels, and I also had opportunity to sample the uh, the Fruity Pebbles cereal bar square. Oh, huh? that was really good, too. <laughs> I, uh, cereal, I'm, I, I'm on her website. I'm going in to check this out. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be drooling in a minute, Al. You're going to be drooling. <laughs> Uh, yeah, off the hook products, off the hook products for sure. Um, you attended the? Did you guys attend the Karma Cup last year? Uh, we attended the Karma Cup last year, but very unofficially. Uh, at that point, we had actually I had just started the bakery, um, so we had dreams of actually having a booth there and or competing there this year. Uh, we didn't realize that the company would have grown to the point where we could actually see that as a reality. So this is all kind of wonderful. What's happening right now? Cinnamon, to cinnamon toast, crunch I know. crispies. I know. Oh, I mean, every so kind good. of cereal you can think of. Oh, it's just it's awesome. <laughs> my, my mouth is rottering, <laughs> watering as I speak. Uh, you travel around quite a bit and uh, bring your wares for sale at, at several different events. You've been part of Green Market as well um, and a few others. Uh, 420... Uh, um, was one event, and then what was the one that you were at without me and I joined you online? Um, Can't recall now, but there's been it, so many events this year. Yeah, there has been. There hasn't were. There? Well, there was um, the 710 Cup. We talked to you at that, there. That's what it was, the 710 Cup. Yeah. We talked to you there. The we also talked to you at uh, one other show as well. Where was that? Uh, yep, probably the Global Mar Marijuana March, I believe. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yep. Okay, right. yep. Yep, yep. So this time will be the first so time that you, you two are in person this time. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll be meeting up with you at the Karma Cup, and, and it'll be our first face-to-face -face meeting, won't it, Ashley? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, for sure. Sure, for sure. I'll be touring around Toronto for about five days uh, over the time period of the Karma Cup and, and including the Karma Cup. So I hope to run into many people while I'm in my Toronto, doing my Toronto tour for sure. Uh, tell us about... Uh, Are you, hang go on. ahead. Tro tropical Mango Surprise Jam. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the <laughs> surprise? <laughs> <laughs> As the, the mango enhancement added in there, too. <laughs> Oh yes, mango and pineapple. In fact, uh, I created that one for uh, for my partner because he he doesn't really prefer the berry type of jams. He right. wanted something a little different, so we came up with a with a tropical one. And it's two hundred uh, milligrams. Really well. Two hundred milligrams too. Holy smokes! Yeah, that's for the entire jar. So it ends up yeah. working out to be uh, 30, 30 milligrams per tablespoon. Nice. nice. Oh look. At that. <laughs> Uh, I won't. I won't. We won't. We, do we need to discuss the milk chocolate penises? <laughs> Only if you want to. <laughs> I didn't know if there were limitations, <laughs> but those are one of our best sellers. <laughs> I, could just, I could just imagine. <laughs> well, it's the sweetest way to tell someone to eat a bag of dicks. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, that's, it, be, 
interesting night with those. Oh, yeah. definitely. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. I'll let you get back to the questions. I was just going through your, your treats and sweets here on your website. Well, that's oh, no okay. Um, Enjoy. <laughs> it, was, it was actually, it was actually uh, perfect timing. Uh, right. had... so, so, well, yeah, salted caramel brownies. That, that sounds good, good too. Because, you know, we see you at these shows, you know, but we don't always, you know, it, it, we're busy. And we don't always get to really, you know, maybe see the stuff on the tables. You know, we're dealing with questions or, or you know, the next guest or whatever. And so it's nice to be able to, to do it this way, see it on the website. And um, like I said, we're, in, we're at the Karma Cup in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Yeah, I, I want, I'm trying to try that peach, pear, and apple jam. I can guarantee you I'm going to be making a purchase of some of that. Yeah. <laughs> that you one know, is you, really good. Really good, and it pairs really well with the peanut butter. And, and if you take your jam, you go out for breakfast or something, you get some extra toast. You know, you could always yeah. put ah. that, your medicated jam on your toast while you're at the restaurant. Right, and yeah, no wiser. That's yeah. it. No, it's okay, hon. I got my own jam. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, love that. Yeah, good, good, good. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on to your next menu item, and this is good. I, I enjoy going through these websites. Okay. Oh, I know you. Do. How actually? <laughs> here's a here's a question for you. We have still got ten minutes here. Um, how'd you come up with your name, Sofa King? And I I know this question. I it was something I I asked you uh, the first time we met. And Sofa King is that because your food products put put the patient into the sofa? Uh, believe it or not, uh, no. <laughs> uh, I, I really I really like puns and play on words. Uh, which is where that came from. Uh, believe it or not, there actually used to be a furniture store in Toronto uh, way, way back. Uh, I'm going back probably to the 80s uh, that was called Sofa King Furniture. And I thought the name yes, was really was. funny, but I'm like, it's just, it's not quite there. Um, mm -hmm. and, and Sofa King Good Bakery was born, honestly, when I actually drew out our logo of Couchy. And I really liked him so much that I, we basically created the name to work with it. And, uh, nice. and yeah, that's that story. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. I mean, I love, I love Couchy. Couchy is is awesome. Yeah, I included Couchy in the post today. He was yeah, in there. I, <laughs> that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely very very cool. I, uh, looks, I actually have he, him on my wall. Because it looks like he's had a few. Um. Uh, few pieces of toast and jam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, now you're, you're staying at you. That's, that's branching out a little bit more, right? Uh, which one? Sorry, say that again. The sa your savory menu. Are you branching that out more? Yes, actually, that's going to be one of our focuses. Um, one of our main focuses prior to the last few weeks uh, was our gummy menu, uh, which was quite extensive, and you won't find that at all on the website. Uh, we actually decided that we were going to discontinue our gummies uh, so that we can focus on more of the savory items because we've had a lot of requests for, for different items. Um, a few of them that we're going to be looking into are things like uh, different popcorns, um, we're looking into uh, different beef jerkies. Uh, we're yeah. also going to be looking into different base products that can be used, like um, uh, infused flavored olive oils or uh, sugar, yeah. if you will. Um, some of the things that people can use on their own at home that they can put into their own meals um, so that they can make their own products out of, uh, out of our products. Excellent, excellent. Um, a lot of people are really interested in um, these days in the different oils, uh, like you say, and, and the, uh, the coconut oil and the olive oils and grapeseed oil infusions uh, for, for regular cooking. Oh, definitely, definitely. We've had so much request for it um, that we're working on the, the research and development side of it right now. And as soon as it's ready to be released, we will definitely be coming out with all kinds of new lines in the, in the upcoming year. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't now wait. I, I see, mean, your products are great. I see your products here. You, you also have CBD products? 
Yes, we do. Uh, we do CBD only products for those looking for the for the benefits of CBD without the psychoactive side of it. Um, and that uh, right now we do have a, a CBD only Rice Krispie treat. Uh, but that being said, any of the products on our menu can be specially made uh, for any client um, as CBD only if they prefer it. So you do do uh, custom orderings and stuff like that. Oh Di- yes, yes. Yeah. So so people yes. like 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 myself, you know, I got Crohn's disease, so I have dietary issues. So those are things that uh, you could uh, you could work around then. Oh, definitely, definitely. Well, I'd say half of what we do, other than what you see on the website, is more uh, specialty items for people, whether they're looking for a specialty dose or, as you said, something specialty for the dietary concern. Yeah. Um, we, can, we can alter either menu items current or create something brand new, or even people come to us sometimes with their own recipes that they'd like us to use. So, yeah, because yeah, I see here you got, you got vegan and gluten-free products here as well. Yeah, yes, vegan. We uh, totally do. Yeah, gl- vegan, gluten-free Rice Krispie treats. That's good. And, I, and I found the peanut butter to go with the jam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 Very cool. Very cool. Now, what kind of a peanut butter is it? Is it crunchy or a smoothie? Uh, you know what? It's actually a combination between the two. Uh, because it is all natural and fresh ground, we have a combination of a little bit of chunk to it with mostly smooth as a background. And it's honey, so it, ro- honey roasted and, peanuts. And it is honey roasted. That's right. That's right. Oh. So unfortunately, it doesn't qualify for every vegan who wishes to eat it, but almost everybody else can consume it without issue. And of, of course, providing you don't have a nut allergy. Yeah. Yeah, well, then you're not eating peanut butter anyway, right? <laughs> exactly, or at least you yeah. should be. <laughs> well, you got to think. you got to think. Hey, uh, we got a couple minutes for the commercial break here. But peanut butter, uh, cannabis, uh, you know, cannabis is, is, you know, we all know the story behind cannabis and legalization issues and everything. Peanut butter, buy it at the grocery store, no problem, convenience stores, and yet people die from consuming peanut butter. Yeah, yeah, you know that's I mean? right. More deaths from peanut butter than cannabis. Oh, for sure. Do people <laughs> and just, how, it, how odd is it that that's only an allergy in North America? Really? Yeah. That is odd, isn't it? Right? Yeah. Yeah, Make very odd. Wonder. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I we're getting close to a break, and during our break, maybe we'll get into some cosmic pretzels. Is that the ones that you were talking about earlier there, Kim? Yeah, cosmic pretzels, they're awesome. And I think they're also available for those that like the sweet and salty. You can also get them chocolate covered. Uh, oh. So we do do chocolate covered ones, but the ones that we do chocolate covered are the long pretzel rods in comparison to the, the waffle style smaller ones that we do is just the coconut oil infused. Oh, oh, oh. Cho- they'd be chocolate <laughs> sticks. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's chocolate pretzel sticks or you yeah. can get the squares without the chocolate. I had the squares without the chocolate. Um I did uh, eat it in t- I cut it at the portion in two. <laughs> I had it in two separate days, not all at once. Um half of the portion was quite enough for me. Uh <laughs> for one sitting. I I rather enjoyed it very much, but yeah, half the portion was quite enough for me. And the second time I had when I ate it the second time, I sat there with a thing of a uh, little, I put some uh, uh, chocolate icing in a dish, and I'm sitting there dipping them in the chocolate icing. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, my my partner good. loves dipping them in the peanut butter. Oh, they were so good. They were so oh. good. They were very good. Gonna have to go home after this and then get something to eat. <laughs> 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 oh, extremely good! Very buttery, and then you've got the the the, the, say, the, the smash of the the sea salt in there when you bite into them. Oh, so good! Very good. You're good, good, good. All righty. Well, um, before we get into any more food here, why don't we uh, why don't we go for a break, and then uh, we'll get talking about some more munchies when we get back. Sounds good. All right. I'm game. Uh, your game. All right. Uh, I've as we, I've met Ashley at these um, events. Uh, I find that she's 
um, let's see, a happy person. You know, always smiling, always laughing, and giggling, and stuff like that. <laughs> so, uh, for tonight's bumper music, I picked uh, the Killing Time Band's uh, song, Hi Hippie Girl. And I usually like, try to match the songs to the person, the guest. I, I couldn't find a song about baking and cannabis, though. <laughs> I'll have to do a better job next time. But uh, after the music and after the break, uh, Kim and I will continue our talk with Ashley. And uh, this is the Pace Radio Show on LifestyleRadio.ca and our sister site, 420Radio.ca. Talk to you in a couple minutes. You're listening to Lifestyle Radio. After the show, man, we headed out to the parking lot. Lots of folks sitting around getting way messed up. This scene got crazy, man, and I had to split. Lost my mind, jumping around. We drove down further, man, south past the grotto. Town to town, we went to Colorado. We found another show and scored ourselves some tickets. Met some girls, man. Canada, the time to act is now. These days, your customers are seeking variety. Increase your earning potential by expanding your inventory with CC Nexus, Canada's largest cannabis seed wholesaler. CC Nexus stocks over 60 reputable breeders, including Canuck seeds, with a wealth of auto flower, regular, feminized, and CBD strains. All first-time customers will receive a free pack of Canuck seeds, plus a mug, t-shirt, and additional promotional materials. Add strains and increase your profit with CC Nexus, your Canadian-owned and operated wholesaler of cannabis seeds. Discreet, worldwide stealth shipping from Canada, supporting you locally. Call today, 1-844-843-7995. 1-844-843-7995. Or visit us at ccnexus.global. The following is a public service announcement from the Canadian Therapeutic Cannabis Partners Society. The Canadian Therapeutic Cannabis Partners Society is a non-profit organization dedicated to ensuring improved access to therapeutic cannabis and cannabis byproducts in Canada. With a federal government that has committed to legalizing cannabis, we feel it is our duty to ensure that the medicinal use of cannabis doesn't get lost in the process and that there are clear distinctions made between the medicinal and recreational use of cannabis. It is our mission to ensure that government regulation doesn't get in the way of a sick disabled or terminally ill person's right to use or produce this amazing natural health product. If you would like to get involved, you can contact us on the internet www.canadiantherapeuticcannabispartners.com On Facebook, CTCP Society Or search Canadian Therapeutic Cannabis Partners CTCP now operates Medicinal Cannabis Signing Clinic. If you want to grow your own medicinal cannabis and are located anywhere in Canada, then I'd like to suggest that you give them a call. They can be reached at 1-613-967-9888 That's 1-613-967-9888 and grow on with CTCP. Man, have you been to Canada Days yet? Canada Days. Campbellford's premier cannabis culture shop at 19 Bridge Street West. They've got bongs, oil rigs, grinders, and papers. Everything you need for consumption. They've got seeds, soil, nutrients, and dome trays too. Everything you need for cultivation. Get top quality seeds from top suppliers like Canuck, Crop King, and wholesaler Nexus. Canna Days. They've got all kinds of awesome cannabis novelties, clothing, and apparel. I know, right? It's a lot more than just a bong shop. Interested in gaining legal access? Canna Days can help. They're a PACE information center. You know, people advocating cannabis education? Come by the shop and check it out. 19 Bridge Street West, Campbellford. Canna Days. Have your say without saying a word. Canadays.ca 
Growing your own vegetables, flowers, or even medicinal plants can be a challenge without the right equipment and proper know-how. At BMA Hydroponics, not only are they your urban horticultural experts and suppliers, but their staff holds the customer's needs paramount to making a sale. Family-owned with decades of experience and knowledge, they offer free advice in person by phone or email. BMA Hydroponics wants to ensure you have the advice you need, which is why you'll find tips and tricks on different ways to grow, like WIC, Ebb and Flow, Drip, or Aeroponics System, as well as other helpful links at bmahydroponics.com. If you can't find what you're looking for, just let them know, and they'll do everything they can to get what you're looking for. At BMA Hydroponics, each staff member also possesses a federal exempt MMAR license, making their strong suit, empathy, experience, and dedication to their customers. Because when you know how to grow, you'll have results that make you proud. BMA Hydroponics in Belleville, Ontario. Visit bmahydroponics.com. BMA offers cannabinoid testing. So if you want to prove you've got good medicine, head to BMA Hydroponics and prove it. Hello, we are the Pace Radio Show, and we are broadcast live right here at LifestyleRadio.ca. We're also on Spreaker, Showcast, TuneIn Radio, and we're even live at the Pace website found at Pace-Online.ca. Just a reminder, tune in to Lifestyle Radio on Friday nights to catch Al Rap and the 420 Radio Show crew, along with their guests. Join them when they go live from 7 to 9 Eastern Standard Time. Prepare to get educated and enjoy some interesting tunes. Today in the program, I'm joined by our guest, Ashley Kalia of Sofa King Good Bakery and my joint host, Northern Ontario, Kim Cooper. Ladies, are you with me? We are here. Good stuff. Okay, uh, Ashley, before I toss you back over to Kim, um, there's been a lot of talk like, since the Project Claudia raids over a year ago about edibles and labeling and um you know listing of ingredients and thc and cbds and stuff like that um do you find that more and more bakers um and people who are uh making edibles that they are sort of doing what uh, i guess you could say um the 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 compassion centers and the vapor lounges stuff have sort of self-regulated themselves and have they? Have you seen that more of them are putting labeling on their products? Uh, definitely, I think there are a lot of companies out there that are are very vigilant in making sure that that things like ingredient labels, uh, THC, THC and CBD uh, content, um, all kinds of things, including even down to the things like uh, nineteen plus or keeping things away from from children and pets. Um, the amount of labels that, that are coming out on products now are a lot better. Unfortunately, not every company is following suit. And it, although we're kind of self-regulating until the industry gives us something better, um, I, I'd love to see more companies follow suit with what a lot of us are doing. Um, because a lot of the time in the industry, even in events, a lot of people will come up to us and be like, we really love your product. Here, try this, and please let us know what you think. And we'll go home with product, and we'll look at it, and it's a, a package of cookies that have no label. You don't know what's in the cookie. You don't know the strength. Um, you don't know if it's a sativa, an indica, if it's made with can of butter or distillate, or how strong it's going to be or what it's going to do to you. Um, so it would be really nice to see other companies or a lot of the other companies that are coming into the industry right now that are very green um, use the same labeling techniques that some of us are using already, at least to, to some degree, at least at a bare minimum, the ingredients of what's in there and the, uh, the THC CBD content so people know what they're taking. That, that's, that's Absolutely. Where was, yeah. That's where it's been an issue with me is, is, is the non-labeling because – with Crohn's disease, the dietary issues again, and you and you you got to know what you're eating. So, you know those ingredient labels are very important. So, 
You were going to say something? Yeah, Sam? not only the not only the medicinal, but the non-medicinal ingredients. You're absolutely yeah. right. So many people today have allergies, digestive issues, all kinds of things going on. There's certain foods we all can't eat, or we're going to pay for it in one way or another. That can range in extremities for people as well, from to from a small rash to you know death-defying uh, acts happening. You know, so I mean, we've got to be very cautious of that. But the the medicinal ingredients are just as important. Uh, identifying whether or not it's an indica and a sativa, that is to me the utmost of importance. Um, I know many patients that I have have uh, high anxiety issues and stuff like that. They ingest a sativa, they feel like they did a hit of acid. So that's no good. You know, we need to know if it's an indica, a sativa, and what the strength is. Yeah. Yeah, and, and there's so many patients, especially in the first timers, they do, uh, you know, they don't know to take, you know, maybe half a cookie or a quarter of a cookie, and they tend to eat the whole cookie. So, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yeah. 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 yeah, very important. And I'm glad to see that uh, more companies are doing it. Um, but yeah, it's still it's a work in progress. Yes, that exactly. That definitely is. Now, when when um, cannabis legalization uh, happens here in Canada, uh, it's not going to include those products, um, the edibles. And you know, obviously, they they say it's going to come down the road, but I don't know. Actually, if I haven't heard anything, I don't know whether you're hearing anything. Being that the, the you know type of business that you're involved in, but uh, it, it's, it's I say it's very important for them to get on that. If, since it's not going to be done at the same time because there are so many patients uh, patients and people, uh, recreational people, that just don't want to smoke and they want to be able to have uh, some pretzels or peanut butter and jam sandwich, you know? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, smoking is last on the list for a lot of people yeah. now. Yeah, it is. It is. So. Yeah. Yeah, are you getting a a, a large influx of people, um, actually, from your patients and your uh, uh, clientele? Are people gravitating more towards edibles than they are uh, to smoking? Oh yes, very much so. Very much so. Um, edibles seem to be a a safer way for a lot of them, especially when they're concerned about uh, lung health um, or their throat. Um, a lot of people feel like a lot of the strains that are out now, uh, as strong as they are, are very harsh to the throat, um, especially depending on how you're consuming, whether whether it be in a joint or a vaporizer or what have you. Uh, so the fact that we can offer an edible option or an oil option or even a capsule option, which is something new that we've just started doing as well, um, people seem to like to have an alternative other than just smoking, which seemed to be the standard for so long. Yeah, I've got a lot of patients um, that really gravitate towards the capsules as well. Um, I think I think it goes to the mindset of taking a pill. Um, well, yeah. I'm just taking another pill, so it's okay. Yeah, and I can't lie. A lot of pe people who are new to cannabis, who are looking at it as a way for alleviating pain or anxiety or depression or whatever it is that they're using it for... Um, find capsules to be an easier jump because they're so used to that on the pharmaceutical level that it seems like a safer option to them than, let's yeah. say, eating a cookie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. It, it, agree. It's the psychological of it, you know, the, the psychology of it. It's in your head, well, I'm just taking a pill or versus, oh, I'm eating a marijuana brownie, oh, my God. You know, it, the psychology of it does something. And, and oh, I definitely. Think too, yeah, and I think, too, with the pills, it... It allows you to um, control your dosing too, because you know whether you're going to do one pill, two pills, you know, three, four, whatever is required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I personally like the idea of the pills too. I do capsules as well. I like the convenience of them. I can fill them up with my tincture or my oil, and I can throw them in a pill bottle, and I'm good to go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I myself, I do six a day. Of the capsules and and um, yeah, like to me, I don't, I because I, I don't take them to get stoned, you know. I take them for uh, uh, for my my condition and, and it, you know they 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 help in their own way, you know. Whether it's 
uh, helping to replace some, endo, uh, some cannabinoids in, your, in my system to uh, help uh, the endocannabinoid system to heal, um, then, yep. then so be it. Yeah. A lot of Regulate people, everything. You know, I'm not going to say, I shouldn't say a lot of people, but I know there's people out there say, well, uh, I didn't get a buzz off that, so that didn't work. Well, it's, it doesn't mean yeah, it didn't work. Uh, yeah. That's right. That's right. You're feeding your endocannabinoid system. That's that's the bottom line, and that's right. what's regulating our systems inside of our bodies. So as long as you're feeding it cannabinoids, you're doing a good thing. Not everything is about the buzz. It's about uh, the medicinal value. That's right. That's right. Exactly. So Ashley, how can uh, people get your products? Uh, well, we've actually just launched the website, <clears throat> which came out about two weeks ago. Um, and so we're trying to get everybody onto it, uh, which is our full company name, sofakinggoodbakery.com. Um, I know it's kind of long, but unfortunately the abbreviated versions were not available, so we figured why not go for the whole thing. Um, yeah, so we are you'll, you'll, find, you'll, find, you'll find it's too long when you go to write it in a little wee box someplace. <laughs> <laughs> then, then it might be yes. Then it might be very limiting. But yeah, that's right. that being said, uh, sofakinggoodbakery.com is uh, is up and running. Um, other than there, we do events around the city um, at, at least once a week. Um, we're, we have a biweekly canna market that we do, uh, which is a lot of fun at Planet Paradise on Thursdays, uh, which will be there this Thursday actually. So we're prepping for that right now with lots of product. Excellent. Um, Can I ask, will you be there? Will you be there the Thursday prior to the Karma Cup? Um, mm, let me see if I can have a calendar. You know what? Hold that thought one second, and I can answer that. I'm asking because we, we that need is some. Day. We need some well, of that do 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 music. Yeah. Well, that's. <laughs> while, we, while, while we wait for, it, we'll look for. <laughs> Yeah, that's my Vapor Lounge tour day. So, I mean, if you're going to be there, that would be awesome. We can do a little mini interview while I'm there. Okay, so let's see. So, we are there on the 31st. So, we will be there on the 7th. Yes. Yes, we will. Excellent. I'll see you there because Planet Paradise is on my list for my Vapor Lounge tour. So, I'll make sure I'm there when you guys are all set up. Oh, that's wonderful. It's a lot of fun. A lot of cool vendors end up showing up there. And uh, every week we get a, or every bi-weekly, we get a different mix of people. So it's uh, it's also nice. So that's on the Actually, Thursday before the couple. Okay, I just, yeah. I, just uh, I, I probably won't be heading down until Saturday morning. So. Uh, well, we're, we're heading down early. We're going to late Tuesday night, so I'm there all the late uh, from Wednesday on. I can... Uh, venues while I'm in the city. We're traveling from Belleville to Hamilton and everything in between. Yeah, you're coming up to see the new Legacy building, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to the new Legacy building. I'll be doing a Vapor Lounge tour and we're going all the way out to Hamilton. Uh, we're going to hit Brampton and Hamilton as well and then Etobicoke and all of the uh, Toronto lounges as well. So we'll be going strong for five days while we're there. The um good, uh, Ashley. Being, I'm assuming like if someone comes to your website and order something, you're gonna probably mail the product to them. Do you got? Have you got some strong boxes to put those Rice crispy squares in so they don't get squished? <laughs> oh yes, definitely. All of our packaging <laughs> is uh, is three sixty sealed, proper food packaging, and it's all plastic, so it's quite rigid and and withstands the mailing process. <laughs> Yeah, uh, mine came in the mail. I got an order from her. I can attest to the mailing and the packaging that I received. Uh, the Rice Krispie Square came, arrived undamaged. Uh, it was perfectly fine and formed and, and all pretty in its box. She uses those uh, hard plastic uh, boxes that you get like cakes and stuff in at the supermarket. Uh, you know, you, when you get the little rolls and stuff like that, and they've got the little nuggets that clip together on the corners to make it all seal up and then it's all in a nice envelope uh everything arrived in perfect form nice good good nice you know, i can you know i i've talked to a few people who do mail over cannabis and you know there's they the odd person to tell me well you know i ordered a package and didn't arrive 
you know, and then they worry that you know it got got grabbed or whatever somewhere along the way. So, you know, with food products, I don't see the smell like you would with bud, but uh, yeah. It, it could get, you know, it could get damaged. Your cookies could be squished or whatever, you know, mushy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I didn't have any issues. All the pretzels were whole. They weren't broken. Uh, the pretzels were whole. Uh, and the, uh, the the Rice Krispie square was, uh, or a Prudy Pebbles square, excuse me, was uh, was perfectly intact. Yeah, was wonderful. Nice and fresh, too. I see you got a Thank listing. I see you got a listing of events here. What's um, we talked about the Planet Paradise Canon Market. What's this other one you got going on here? Are uh, you talking about the uh, Mercado Libre one? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Mercado so Libre is. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, that's that's a new one. I've just I've just learned about it myself actually yesterday. Uh, interesting. Another interesting event put on by uh, the same group of people that bring us the Green Market. Yes, yes, uh, or, or subset thereof. Um, so they're doing uh, the same style market, if you will, uh, this one with a little bit of, uh, of a twist uh, in that they've got uh, usually live bands uh, that come and play as well as DJs. Um, they've got all kinds of foods. Uh, they also do a live high tea that is, uh, that is side by side along with the market for those people who wish to have a, an a la carte menu, if you will, like a price fix menu that includes uh, usually an infused beverage, um, a, a joint of some kind, and, uh, and some sort of dessert like a cookie or popcorn or, or something like that. Very cool. Uh, th- these events are taking place all over Toronto now, yeah. like almost every weekend now, eh? It's just, yeah, it's, pretty it's, much. Yeah, for sure. It's growing. Yeah, so we've, got, uh, we've only got two more weekends left of Mercado Libre. Um, this weekend, we're going to be there. The event is going on Saturday and Sunday. Unfortunately, we're missing out on Saturday, but we will be there on Sunday. And then we've got the finale coming up next Saturday from 2 until 10, and then that's it for the summer. Oh, wow, geez. but so much in Toronto. I mean, it, it, every single weekend, I think from 420 on, there's been something going on in that city. Yeah. Yep. It's, <laughs> it, it's great. It, it shows, you know, the cannabis community, community is thriving. People are working together. Um, business opportunities are being created. People are being assisted. And I hope it becomes doing, I, I hope it becomes contagious and catches on in the yep. north. I mean, I'm trying my hardest to get the uh, activists moving up here, but it's slow going. And seeing the strides being made in the city, it just warms my heart. It it, it goes against the argument that uh, you know people who use cannabis are are lazy, that they're non productive to society, um, you know all all that stereotype stuff. And you got businesses that are being created and events that are happening. And, you know, you may not hear in the news. And, and part of that is because nothing bad happened. That's right. The news only reports when there's a fight or, you know, something rotten, terrible happened. Then it's going to make the news. But these things are going off without a hitch. Everybody's leaving happy. And they're happening every single weekend. And yet nobody knows about them unless you're within the community or, or stumble upon them. Yeah. This is uh, yeah. yeah, this is good. Uh, amazing. Amazing. Now what is what is Playground 2017? It looks like it was an event that happened last weekend. Oh, that's last over. Week. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, August oh, 12th oh. to the 14th. Oh, that one's done. I yeah. see. Yeah. Uh, exactly. I see. I see. I see. So now, what is what would the um, what would the uh, routine be if somebody wanted to get in touch with you to do a special order? How do they do that? Do they do it through your website? Ashley, did we lose her? Uh, hi there. Sorry, am I with you now? Yes, yep. you are. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just thank, noticed thank, you were gone. <laughs> thank God for that mute button. I'm sorry. I was in some pain, so I figured I'd howl on my own. Um, uh, oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> my apologies. Not a problem. Not a problem. No need uh, to apologize. <laughs> uh, so the best way to get in contact with us for special orders 
uh, they can definitely reach us on the website uh, through the contact form that's there. Uh, or if they feel more comfortable with it, they can send us an email to info at sofakingoodbakery.com, uh, which is also available for them on the website. Um, our phone number is also available there, so if they feel more comfortable giving us a call or sending us a text message, uh, we pretty much will answer anything short of a smoke signal. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. We can, we can send you one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you you are such a trooper. You're pushing mute to howl in pain on your own. And Al, how many times? I mean, I think almost every single show we come back to this. It, it, everything it comes back to being a patient. Uh, exactly. It's patient helping patients, patients developing business and entrepreneurial spirit out of need. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Pa- patients, uh, you know, telling their stories and, and their experience and what they go through. And, and just doing that alone helps educate others on on what someone's going through with a certain condition and how they can uh, deal with it. Yeah. Well, you're, you're right now. You're uh, consuming, uh, as we speak, so to speak, on the show to control some pain issues. Did you want to share what was happening? Um. Yeah, sure, sure. That's that's not a problem. Um, well, I mean, other than my underlying condition, uh, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, uh, which means that I have a lot of pain all day long for the entire month, like it, it never ends. Um, so I basically use cannabis in many formats in order to deal with that. But unfortunately, today, I think I've got my very, very first case of kidney stones. So I'm dealing with a severe amount of back pain at the moment uh, that doesn't usually exist in the spot that it is, um, and uh, and it's quite oh. intense. So I have a feeling I'll be at the doctor's first thing in the morning. If you make it that long, sweetheart, I know that pain, and that's not fun. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. But, you know, grin and bear it, right? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. You know, go well, with you th- have Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I said, I said, you know, if people say, oh, oh, you got uh, medical cannabis, you're allowed to do that, or you can grow, or you're ever lucky. Excuse me? Yeah. Yeah, no, we're what's not so lucky? lucky by any. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's so lucky about suffering? Come on now. Yeah, no. Nothing it's, at it's all. Not, it's not about luck. It's not about luck at all. We've got the bad luck of, of having a condition that requires a medication that we found an alternative natural remedy to the doctor's pills. Um, so that's not lucky. That's, uh, you know, <laughs> that's being educated and saying no to pharma. Yeah, that's just it. <clears throat> yeah. That's just it. And, yeah, and, for sure. You know, the more the people learn, the more people. Well, you know, obviously, when you look at the the medical cannabis program here uh, in Canada, the numbers constantly grow. You know, they're not growing yeah. as quickly as we like to see, but they constantly grow. You know, it's unfortunate and not. It's it's you know, I, it's not right that patients are having to wait five months for their paperwork to arrive. You know, could you just imagine yeah. going going into the pharmacy and saying, yeah, "Here's my prescription for uh, um, my my pain pills," and the pharmacist says, uh, "Sure, they'll be ready in uh, five months' time." Yep. Yeah, that's right. Come back in yeah. five months and pick it up. Yeah. It's it's unacceptable. You know, yeah, it's unacceptable. Big time. Yeah. Yeah. And, yep. and it's good that they got people like Ashley where they can just go to the website and order themselves some. Baked goods. Yes. You know, well, and it's while business, they wait that five months for those pain yeah, pills. Yeah, and it's businesses like this that are filling the void, you know, caused by our government. Um, you know, for for them to then turn around and say, you know, we want heavy restriction on and regulation on uh, on retail sales and push all of these entrepreneurial businesses out in the cold come legalization is ludicrous. Yeah. Oh, big time. Big time. They're, they're washing away and throwing away of a lot a lot of experience and people with knowledge. And... That's right. These are the people that have, have paved the pathway. They have the information already um, to start to throw it away and have people that know nothing try and build a business 
uh, from scratch already. I mean, it's just the, the whole thing is just ridiculous. Uh, use the structure that we already have. Yeah, big time, big time. I agree. Okay, ladies, uh, it's time to go for another commercial. I think, yeah, I think it yeah. is time. And I, I think Ashley's got us on mute again, which is fine. Which is fine. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I'm still here. I'm still okay, here. Okay, <laughs> good. All right. If, you know, if, you, if, if you're with us, well, then we know you're not suffering. Well, you can be still suffering, but you're not suffering severely that you got to hit the mute button. That's so. right. That's no, right. no, I'm okay right now. Okay, good. <laughs> That's good. Okay, all right. Well, let's go to our commercial break. We're going to hear some more from the Cool Time Band and the song Hippie Girl. And then uh, Kim and I will continue our talk with Ashley Kalilia. How did I do that? Kalia. Kalia. Kalilia. Oh. Kalia. Yeah, you're close. Kalia. I'm close. Okay. All right. You're listening <laughs> to the Pace Radio Show here at lifestyleradio.ca. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to go by first names again here soon. <laughs> All right. Talk to you in about four or five minutes. We'll be back. You're listening to Lifestyle Radio. Show man, we headed out to the parking lot. Lots of folks sitting around getting way messed up. This scene got crazy, man, and I had to split. Lost my mind, jumping around. We drove down further, man, south past the grotto. Town to town, we went to Colorado. We found another show and scored ourselves some tickets. Met some girls, man, and now. Growing your own vegetables, flowers, or even medicinal plants can be a challenge without the right equipment and proper know-how. At BMA Hydroponics, not only are they your urban horticultural experts and suppliers, but their staff holds the customer's needs paramount to making a sale. Family-owned with decades of experience and knowledge, they offer free advice in person by phone or email. BMA Hydroponics wants to ensure you have the advice you need, which is why you'll find tips and tricks on different ways to grow, like WIC, Ebb and Flow, Drip, or Aeroponics System, as well as other helpful links at bmahydroponics.com. If you can't find what you're looking for, just let them know, and they'll do everything they can to get what you're looking for. At BMA Hydroponics, each staff member also possesses a federal exempt MMAR license, making their strong suit, empathy, experience, and dedication to their customers. Because when you know how to grow, you'll have results that make you proud. BMA Hydroponics in Belleville, Ontario. Visit bmahydroponics.com. BMA offers cannabinoid testing. So if you want to prove you've got good medicine, head to BMA Hydroponics and prove it. Man, have you been to Canada's yet? Canada's. Campbellford's premier cannabis culture shop at 19 Bridge Street West. They've got bongs, oil rigs, grinders, and papers. Everything you need for consumption. They've got seeds, soil, nutrients, and dome trays, too. Everything you need for cultivation. Get top quality seeds from top suppliers like Canuck, Crop King, and wholesaler Nexus. Canada's. They've got all kinds of awesome cannabis novelties, clothing, and apparel. I know, right? It's a lot more than just a bong shop. Interested in gaining legal access? Canada's can help. They're a PACE information center. You know, people advocating cannabis education? Come by the shop and check it out. 19 Bridge Street West, Campbellford. Canada's. Have your say without saying a word. Canada's.ca. Hi, this is Al Graham of the PACE Radio Show. Are you keeping PACE? as in keeping people advocating cannabis education? If you're not, and you're a cannabis consumer, then why not? Others are working hard every day to help educate people about cannabis so you can enjoy your daily 420. Get involved and speak out. Be loud and proud so that you can keep pace. Tune into the Pace Radio Show every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to hear about people advocating cannabis education here on LifestyleRadio.ca. Canada, the time to act is now. These days, your customers are seeking variety. Increase your earning potential by expanding your inventory with CC Nexus, Canada's largest cannabis seed wholesaler. CC Nexus stocks over 60 reputable breeders, including Canuck seeds, with a wealth of auto flower, regular, feminized, and CBD strains. All first time customers will receive a free pack of Canuck seeds 
plus a mug, t-shirt, and additional promotional materials. Add strains and increase your profit with CC Nexus, your Canadian-owned and operated wholesaler of cannabis seeds. Discreet, worldwide stealth shipping from Canada, supporting you locally. Call today, 1-844-843-7995, 1-844-843-7995, or visit us at ccnexus.global. We're back, and thanks for tuning in to the Pace Radio Show tonight. And as we do every Wednesday night, we are live here at LifestyleRadio.ca, as well as 420Radio.ca. And don't forget, you know, if you miss the live show, you can always catch us uh, on the podcast that uh, posted at uh, YouTube. Uh, we've got it at Mixcloud, iTunes, uh, and if you if you're in the U.S., yes, we have a U.S version of iHeartRadio that you can catch your shows at as well. So uh, there's just because you missed the live one doesn't mean you missed the program. Uh, tonight's bumper music, Kellentine Band, Song, Hippie Girl. Uh, the band is well known in the city of Toronto and around the area. Uh, if you enjoyed tonight's music and you want to hear more of it, then uh, go to their website, KellentineBand.com or you know, uh, YouTube. Lots of music there. Uh, tonight's program, uh, our guest, Ashley Kalilea, and uh, of uh, Sofa King, Good Bakery, and uh, my joint host, Northern Ontario, Kim Cooper. Well, Kim, we're in the last segment, and I'm going to let are. you, we are going to let you lead off with the questions. Sure thing. Uh, welcome back, everybody, the last segment of the show. Ashley, uh, when we were gone on the break, uh, we were discussing a little bit. A lot of people these days are extremely interested in uh, the source of the uh, cannabis and the cannabis oils that are being used in our edible products these days. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, sourcing your products and, and where your uh, oils come from that you use for your baking? Oh, Definitely. Um, source for us is very important too. I mean, as a medical patient, I want to make sure that I'm not personally ingesting any pesticide or unneeded chemical on top of the natural beauty that is cannabis, right? Um, so that being said, uh, we use all of our products come from um, lab-tested uh, facilities. So we have our lab-tested distillate. Um, and we actually have uh, lab tests available for those who wish to see them for both our distillate and our CBD isolate. Um, and we have decided to use both of those not only for uh, their potency and their effectiveness, uh, but also for the fact that, that neither one of them really has much of a flavor to them. So there's yeah. nothing that we necessarily have to mask in our product. Uh, nice. You're getting the full flavor of whatever it is you'd like to eat as opposed to having that, that lingering um, that lingering weed flavor, if you will, yep. uh, that takes over in can of butter products. You know what I mean? Chlorophyll. Yep. Yummy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yummy, yummy, yeah. yummy. We all know that taste in the back of the throat after we've <laughs> eaten, like, you know, a, a weed brownie that's been made with leaf or bud. You know, you can taste it. Um, I know from trying your products, all you taste is the goodness of the baking. There is zero flavor of any medication in there. You don't taste it at all, but within 20 minutes, you definitely know it was there. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Because you don't want to go through any experiences where, like I know the first time I ever made any baked goods, and I ate a, I ate a cookie. Holy God. Yeah. God, oh, it was just tasted so terrible. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we've all been there when we were experimenting many minutes ago and, you know, just putting raw weed into our, into our cookie dough and stuff right. like that. And, yeah, no, the flavor is just not there. <laughs> so it's good to see there's, there's been this, this much advancement uh, to allow, you know, patients who, who need access but just can't handle the, the, you know, the aftertaste of the chlorophyll or whatever. So it's good to see that there are... Um, items that that people like yourselves can infuse 
uh, into products that um, that isn't a concern. So, yeah, and it's good that you're you're using tested products. That's yes. very important to patients. Uh, I know myself included. We want to know where it's coming from. from you know, yeah. we want to yes. know how it was grown. We want to know that it doesn't have anything bad in it. Yeah, and and to know that it's a source that doesn't use, you know, like you said, uh, um, pesticide laden uh, product, or even stuff that's been moldy, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. and that would all come up. Yeah, and that would all come up in the testing. Awesome that you provide that to patients as well upon request. Yeah, yeah, that that's not a problem. I mean, as a patient myself, I kind of expect that from any other company that I'd want to buy from. Um, yeah. So in that, in turn, I expect to to be able to to give that to our clients, right? That's right. Yeah. Makes all the difference in the world when you're our, when you're a patient operating this business as opposed to a business executive, doesn't it? Very, very much so, and and very different as well from a recreational patient creating mm-hmm. a business. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And and with you know with your condition. Um, I don't know how long you had to struggle before it was diagnosed or anything like that. But uh, I know myself, when I've dealt with pain issues, you know, the edibles, you know, they've always, they've been, a, they've been a big benefit, especially for, for sore muscles and joints and stuff. Yeah, you, you get the longevity that you get from yeah. either edibles or capsules. I mean, that's the ticket. The, the smoking, it, it's okay for short-term, quick spurt. But there's no longevity with it. No, very, very true. Very and true. So, and, and it's okay to get your your medicine in a Fruit Loop crispy versus a pill. That's it. That's yep, it. Yep, yep. That, that, well, I figure why not have something that tastes good as well, right? I mean, yeah. for those who wish Friends. it, the, the caps are there. And I, I also take the caps, uh, the CBD ones that we make, on a daily basis just to help regulate that side of it. Uh, when I don't have the access to CBD isolate so that I can dab it. Um, but other than that, yes, my, my preferred method is to, to eat something tasty too, because why not, right? Yeah, yeah, I as well. I mean, all three of us do the capsule thing. I ingest the capsule every day that's a CBD and a THC mix. I mix the two together, and I have a nice high CBD strain. I add in some high THC indica strain to it, and I make one cup capsule to cover both realms. Um, it, I have to ingest that every day along with suppositories, but then along with edibles throughout the day as well. Yep. Yep. It's, yeah. a, it's a beautiful industry that gives us so many different options to be able to self-medicate, right? Yeah. And, yeah. And, you know, if a, if a person can just chew on one of these chocolate pretzels that I'm looking at that have comes with chocolate on the pretzel, plus I also see one here that's got like little candy coatings all over it. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> <laughs> and yet again, these are things that allow patients to medicate when they're out and about. You know, yeah. it's always yeah. You know, where oh, where's, where's the person going to be able to smoke? Oh, you know, they can't smoke when they're in the theater. They they can't medicate when they're at the bar or whatever. But things like this, yeah, it allows oh, all yeah. that to happen. Yeah, gives a better yeah, quality our- of life to patients for sure. Oh, definitely, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. I'm sure our pretzels have graced many a movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, they graced my living room watching movies, and uh, they are absolutely fantastic, wonderful products. Well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, we'll have to uh, we'll have to test one out when we're down in the city when we see you well, down there. I'll- I can I can I can try again, you know, I may have forgotten by then. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take care of you guys. No worries. <laughs> now, let's see. What else uh, can we what else can, what oh. else should we touch on tonight? I guess the Karma Cup. I mean, that's the big one for you guys because this year, as you said in the start of the show, you have a product entered. Now, that's a huge step for your uh, industry, for your business, uh, entering something in such a prestigious cup as the Karma Cup is with uh, such a wide variety of people uh, to taste and sample it and then rate it. Yes, yes, very much so. It's it's slightly nerve-wracking, but at the same time, it's really exciting. Um, I know that we're up against some some really interesting um, 
entries along with us from other people in the industry that I've heard from who've also competed in the same category. Uh, so it'll be it'll be really interesting to see when these judges kits come out in the next few days uh, what's actually inside them and and get to sample I, the wares. I wish I was well, one of the judges. <laughs> I am. I am one this year. I purchased. Uh, my husband is my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful husband, Steve Cooper. Uh, he purchased me a judges kit this year. He did, did he? He did. He did. He did. <laughs> Did. So I've got one coming. I'm rubbing my hands together right now as we speak in anticipation and excitement for this. Um, we're going to be hosting a Northern Ontario judging party uh, next weekend um, and having some friends over and doing a bit of a judging party. So watch for posts about that. But I'm so excited to get this kit and try the different samples. Now for your entry this year, I know the Karma Cup did expand on the different categories they had in the edibles category because there are so many edibles now, right? That's correct. That's correct. So there were actually uh, two different sections if you wanted to enter for edibles this year. Um, there was uh, a section for those who were making their product with a can of butter or a can of oil um, uh, versus those of us who are making our product with a concentrate or a distillate. Um, which, uh, sorry, <laughs> distillate is a concentrate, but you know what I mean, uh, who are right, using yeah. a concentrate versus a can of butter. Right. Um, so, yes, you're going to have two separate categories with, I'm sure, all kinds of very interesting, fun entries. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping you're going to take lots of pictures to show those of us who aren't judges uh, <laughs> what came out this year. Well, absolutely. Well, uh, yeah. I, saw, I saw Sarah make a post, and all it said was 120 entries. Yeah, and I went. Holy smokes, man! I yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's a lot of a lot of entries to be testing. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna well, have to have a party just so you can get them all done. This is exactly right. why we're having the judging party, Al, because there's me and Steve, and there's 120 entries. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we're having a party, and uh, we'll probably have a second party when we're in Toronto at some point in our hotel room. Well, I know um, based on last year's. Well, we got together with uh, Butterfly last year and, and had a, yeah. a party. Yeah, and um, uh, she still has some. Like yeah, even though I, you even though you test stuff, you know, you know you may not consume it all in your test, right? Well, you've got some. You got some left over, and. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you have to judge so many, there's 120 products to judge. If, if you're talking about a dab, you're doing a dab and you're judging that dab and then you're moving on to the next dab. <laughs> so there's only a dab missing out of every product by the time this thing's over. Yeah, yeah. So you end up with stuff <laughs> left over. And, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, the kits last a very, very long time. Uh, one year, I guess, apparently. <laughs> now, I also I also believe, um, I don't know whether uh, Tracy touched on you with this, uh, Kim, uh, and that was that I think the awards and uh, stuff and everything is all done that weekend. Yeah, so, yeah it's all being done. Um, that was the plan initially last year. Everything was supposed to be done at Polson Pier. There wasn't supposed to be any running around for anything. Uh, Normal Canada was going to appear at Polson Pier. The uh, dinner was going to be at Polson Pier. The event was going to be at Polson Pier, all in one location. Now, the City of Toronto screwed with them last year and removed all of their uh, uh, their uh, their licenses and their um, uh, permits and so forth, and they weren't allowed to use the space that they had rented. They had a production company do it and everything last year, and the city of Toronto really screwed them up. Um, my hat's off, as I said last. Year. What is that? My hat's off, Sarah Sunday. Yeah. Uh, who pulled the uh, who pulled off the event last year without a hitch? Actually, found a last-minute location, got it all going, and pulled off one hell of an event. Even given all of the uh, issues that the city of Toronto threw at her. Now the difference this year is they're not uh, letting anybody know in advance where the location is. Last year they let everybody know. The city of Toronto was able to get a hold of the venue and cancel it. So this year it's a big secret. 
Nobody's going to find out in advance. You're going to find out the day before the event, and then we're all going to get there. Hopefully, that will stop the city from making any moves to put the kibosh on the event. So everything will be at one location, no traveling. Yep. Exactly. The fingers are crossed. The fingers are crossed. Everything goes good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I think it will because you know uh, a lot of these events these days are you know to be announced where they're going to be like those pop up markets. Yeah. And seven, ten couples that way. And, yeah. And uh, yeah, I just they see that to. happening more often. Yeah, they all have to be. Uh, it's it's our only defense um, because if we announce where the location is going to be the, at six a.m. the day of the event. The city doesn't have enough time to do anything to cancel it. And by the time they get their ducks in a row to pull us down, the event is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. There's always a way around things. Oh, oh, those those crazy kids that smoke cannabis, they're so stupid, they won't figure anything out. Ah. No, we're not ingenious at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Ashley, have you got anything else that you'd like to discuss or mention? We've got a few minutes here. If not, um, uh, Wayne has arrived to the store, and I talked to him a little bit about uh, our friend. Um, well, the only other thing I can think of, if you don't mind, no, is, go right ahead. Uh, is uh, just letting people know about our Instagram account, because a lot of people tend to go there looking for cool pictures of all the new products that come out and all the things we try to make that are upcoming, if you will. Um, so if I could, it would be really nice to have people go and check out our Instagram. Which and is where do they do at, It's at SFG Bakery. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Today I was looking for Sofa King Good Bakery in full name. <laughs> Uh, I uh -huh. <laughs> Apparently, I've been fooling a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't find you, so I just put a hashtag on it. Ah, so, okay. Well, that works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, good, good. I, I, I found a good picture of you and made sure that... Um... Oh, oh, right. That reminds me. I, I put in the post something about... Uh, in the uh, Instagram post, something about... We were going to ask how long that joint took you to smoke. Yeah. There's a pic <laughs> the one from 420, my profile picture. The profile yeah. picture, um, yeah. Yeah, so that one was ridiculous. Uh, that, that joint in total took us um, over four hours. Uh, there, was, uh, there was three three ounces in it in total, and it was broken down, categorized by strain. So if you actually take a look at the picture close up, you can see lines across That's the That's what the lines that, are, the colors? Yes. Yeah, they denote each section so that we know what flavor or what strain we're smoking as we're going oh, through. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, I love that. Yeah, we figure nice. go big or go home, right? So <laughs> Four hours to smoke. So how much was in it, do you know? Um... That is an excellent question. I know in total there was around three ounces. Um, I just can't give you the exact number because right. I wasn't the particular person who rolled that beauty of a joint. Three ounces sounds like a pretty big joint. <laughs> wow. It, it, was, uh, it was sufficient, let me tell you. <laughs> I, guess. I guess. Yeah. Oh, wow. Fantastic picture. I love it. <laughs> love it. As long as it burned nice and smooth and... You know, sometimes you see those big joints, they all sort of fall apart as they get going along. Yeah, yeah so I took luckily a... we had a master roller on that one, so... Oh, well, that's awesome, that yeah. Happened. Yeah, I took part in one that was falling apart during 420 Toronto, but that was still cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. Excellent, master joints, excellent. So, okay, one last time, I guess, for your shout-out then, Ashley. Uh, where can people find Sofa King? Uh, so you can find us online at www.sofakinggoodbakery.com or on Instagram at SFG Bakery. SFG Bakery. I'll look that up. Now. Yeah, excellent. Nice. And uh, I highly recommend the products, off-the-hook products. 
Well, thank you very and, much. And if you need to know uh, information on the products, I'm sure you can just send a question to them from your your website, and you guys will get right back to them and let them oh, know yes. what's going on. Yeah, and, and perfect we're... idea. Perfect idea for birthdays or anniversaries. Oh yes, yeah. we've done uh, we've done many a birthday cake or cupcake for a special occasion. We actually did a uh, a grandma's sixtieth uh, birthday party. She wanted a, oh, a nice, nice infused cake. Oh. Nice, nice. Go grandma. Yeah, at two hundred milligrams a piece, it, it was it was very nice. <laughs> yeah. I can be excited about a six-year-old eating a birthday cake, but that's not too far for me to get to. You know, it's only a couple <laughs> years. <laughs> hey, honey, I'm almost that age. Uh, I'm a grandma too, Al. I feel your pain. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. All right. We got all that information in. Where you can be found. And uh, let's see what else was there. We need to know from I don't think there was anything else offhand. No. So, uh, Ashley, um, I'm going to thank you for appearing on the program um, tonight. Uh, while you're, you're a true soldier uh, coming on here uh, in, in pain and still doing the program, we really, really appreciate you doing that. Um, but it, as you know, if it, if it ever happens again, you can't make it because you're sick. We'd always be glad to reschedule you. Okay. Yep. Oh, well, and we'll definitely. Thank you guys. Yeah, and we'll definitely have to have you back, Ashley, for a follow-up interview in the few months down the road, and uh, see how the business is going after the car. Oh, that call. would be lovely. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. We'll do that for sure. Perfect. All righty. Well. Uh, Let's just. I'm gonna bring Wayne in here. So we yeah, I'm gonna get Wayne and, yeah. and have a little chit chat. Little chit chat. Okay. We, I, uh, the the Al Golmi fund for the mic hasn't really gotten too far. <laughs> 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 so, but I did go looking. <laughs> yes, yes, we both did. We're, and I'm gonna do some more looking. Looking at new equipment for the Pace Radio Show. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've got uh, Wayne Matheson here, the owner of Canada Days. We're in the front window of a store doing the radio program. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, um, Wayne came over to me just before I got here. And, um, told me about it, uh, and, uh, oh, you're all static, huh? Oh, I, I just got a message. Mike, probably. There goes crack. You're, crack, you're crack. clacking, clicking, and clearing on. Oh, I'm trying to move it over here really gently over towards Wayne. <laughs> Just get all the moving done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's. I think it's. I think we're there now. I think we're. All there. right. Okay, you're uh, clear now. Back and stuff. Yeah. Not right now. It's quiet. <laughs> no, okay. It's quiet. Oh, we're now. good now. Um. Yeah. Uh. Wayne came up to me and told me that we had lost our friend um, Kelly Brown. Uh. So I asked Wayne if he could come on the show and. Say a few words about Kelly and how Kelly's been around helping you with uh, the 420 and the Cannabis Day. And well, you know, you know, anybody who knew Kelly knew that he was a very um, aggressive, outspoken person. He felt very strongly about uh, everything he did. And uh, but I mean, he he acted that way out of, out of a caringness. It wasn't uh, people mistaken him for an asshole, but that's not at all what it was. He was Uh, but uh, he was he was the one that was always there the night before to load up for the events. He was the first one there in the mornings to set up for events. So, you know, he was always there the next day to help unload for events. Uh, anytime I ever needed him, it was a phone call. And, you know, five, ten minutes later, he was there to help me. Uh, the guy lived in constant pain. He got back pain, uh, leg pain. He's had uh, triple bypass heart surgery. He's, you know, the, the guy's been through so much stuff. And then uh, 53 years old today, he just, uh, you know, I was, I was over there this morning at 1130 smoking a joint with him. And he had electricians in doing an electrical service upgrade. And then I get a call just shortly after 2 o'clock saying that he just collapsed and died just out of the blue. It's, it's, it's such a weird thing. 
So, I mean, uh, I mean, he's, he's going to be very missed uh, by everybody involved in the 420 and Cannabis Day events, uh, and, and especially myself and his wife and uh, his wife's son, who uh, who basically thinks of him as a dad, even though they, he wasn't really his dad. He, he was raised uh, like that. So, um, yeah, it's it's you know, it's a it's a tragic loss, and uh, there's been way too much of that recently. Yeah, like you, like you said, he was always there to help you out. He was even he was here helping you out the day. When you open up the store, we're doing shelving together. Uh, he was always there for you, and yeah. you know you guys always shared uh, helping each other. Yeah, and one of the saddest things is Dr. Cameron's was his doctor, and and since Dr. Cameron's lost his license, just like myself and my family, we haven't been able to find new doctors. So all his medications, his heart medication, his back medication, and all his pain pills, he he wasn't able to get any of that anymore. It just wasn't accessible. And he went around to a few different clinics and stuff to talk to doctors and they just tell him, oh, smoke more pot. So, um, you know, it's, um, I, I can't Coming directly blame, medical. I can't directly blame um, uh, Dr. Cameron's losing his license for, for this, but I think there's probably a good chance that if he had easy access to all his medications that he required, that he may have lived longer. Yeah, yeah. Well, it seems to me there's no question. It seems to me there's no question. If you require heart medication and you don't get it, then you have something happens like this suddenly. Chances are it was the heart. Yeah, well, he he had a massive coronary, so he he took a heart attack today, and and it was pretty much instant. It was quick. Well, that's... That's... uh, Oh, that... It's always nice when a friend goes... It's always nice when a friend goes quick and doesn't uh, doesn't live in, in all that last minute agony in the hospital bed with all the family kind of you know yeah, that that can be really hard on a guy. But at the same time, um, you know, as as good as it is for her and him, it's extremely hard on all his loved ones for him. Just to, you know that nobody had time to prepare for it. Oh, for sure. If you have to go, that's the best way to check out one hundred percent. But the question remains: Was it his time or was this? Uh, a cause of something larger, as you said. Yeah, it could be a cause of something larger, but it's really funny. I'm just looking it up here. He posted something on Facebook yesterday, uh, and it, it kind of it's kind of funny. It's uh, hold on, it's loading. Yeah, some of that background music. Here, uh, there it is. Yeah. I, no, that's not the one. There it is. Uh, it says, uh, it's a, one of those memes that says, when you're dead, you don't know you're dead. All the others, uh, all the pain is felt by others, which is so true, eh? I mean, the rest yeah. of the meme is the same thing happens when you're stupid. But the, the first yeah. half really, yeah. and, and considering he posted it yesterday and passed today, it's it's really something. So, uh, it is, yeah. it is. It is eerie, very eerie when, when stuff like that happens. Such a sad, sad thing, a tragedy uh, for the community there uh, around you guys uh in and and uh, in our province and country as a whole um more people like him are are needed and it seems we are are suffering massive massive losses these days countrywide it seems to be uh you know every couple of days some some buddy who's important to the movement is is dying yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. we're we're all patients you know yeah. um that's what it comes down to a, a gazillion times I've said it we're all patients first um, yeah. you know we all have our own medical issues you know and uh, and that's that's what it comes down to and, and some of us sadly are, are not beating what is yeah, so. uh, our problems are so I'd just like to end by uh, asking any of uh, any listeners out there if you uh, if you happen to have oil and some tobacco that was his his favorite way he liked to grease up a paper add some tobacco to it and smoke a joint that way so if uh, if anybody feels like smoking a joint in his honor uh, I'd really appreciate that and I'm sure he would too yeah so sure. thank you Wayne yep. for coming thank on you. and talking to us about Kelly all right okay how's the mic now guys it's better now Al much better it to, was. Yeah. I said that. Now it's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's hope I can get it. I do have a spare, but we're in the middle of trying to sell our house. And everything's been moved, and once you move everything from where it normally is, it's harder to find. Yeah. You're going to have to fix that wire, hun. But we're at the yeah. end of the show, so. We are. We are. We are. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, 
There it is. I'm getting messages. It's really bad. Okay. There we uh, go. There we go. Okay. Uh, you can uh, let's see. I'll be back next week with our with um, Alicia, um, with uh, her guest. Uh, you can find us on uh, Twitter at Pace Radio. We're on Facebook as well, and you can find us online at pace-online.ca. Kim, did you have a shout out that you wanted to throw at anybody? Uh, no, um, just a shout out to anybody that is in Northern Ontario that happens to be listening. My home is being opened up as a vapor lounge during an event called Truck Fest, Smooth Truck Fest, which takes place in Smooth Rock Falls this weekend. It actually started tonight. People have started pouring into town. So my home is opened up to a vapor lounge, safe consumption site, and education center. For anybody that happens to be traveling in the north and wishes to drop in, stop into the NOSER site uh, and you can, you can uh, consume safely and get some education while you're here. There you go. You have to put a sign out for it. Yep. So we've got sign is going up and uh, we should be good to go. All right. Um, uh, thank you so to our sponsors. Ben, uh, yeah, I know it's toast now. <laughs> and uh, CC Nexus, they're Canada's largest wholesaler. They're at ccnexus.global. Uh, Al Rapp uh, to Lifestyle Radio. Uh, I don't know whether Ashley's still with us. Ashley, you still with us? Yes, I am. Oh, well, thank you for joining us on the program tonight. As I said earlier, you're in a lot of pain and discomfort, and you still were able to do the program. I uh, really appreciate you coming on and talking to us. What a trooper, eh? That's right. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, and to you, Kim, thank you for, as always, for everything you do and for the program. And uh, thank you to our listeners. We, we always appreciate our listeners uh, tuning in the program. So we always got to make a show, uh, show appreciation by showing them a. a Throwing a thank you to them as well. I'll get my tongue on, untied. And um, good night. We're heading home. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> good night. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing? Why not? Trying to get on this lifestyle radio website. Sounds like a cool website. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, I might have it. You might have it.